somewhere here. Okay, this is India. Can you see the convoluted world, the Greeks? So, this is another map of this uh, Greeks. Okay, Ptolemy's book was uh, he wrote a book uh, called Geography. From where geography got its name. He not only made the maps, he also told how to make maps. Okay, that was the first map of geography. But the Greeks were not the first to make maps. Chinese, even in the video, I think you saw tablets, Babylonians. So guess who made the first maps? That is that. Okay. Uh, in, um, in fact, uh, the Chinese map were not quite accurate. Uh, especially here, I think uh, this one is on the, from the tomb. There's another map I'll show you. This is from the paper shards. This is very delicate. It's kept in the museum. It's very delicate. Uh, but yeah, this the, the, the Silk Road map, as you say. Now here. You see the vertical scale is different from the horizontal scale. Okay, this is a silk uh, uh, map. Now this is also map. Also, the map is also on silk. But um, Ptolemy was, you know, the scientist in the uh, in the sense of make, making maps. And uh, so there were many other maps. I'll just jump on. There are many interesting maps. If you want to see these slides, you can see. What about maps in India and in the Indian subcontinent? Did we have maps? This is the Greek map uh, when Alexander came to India. Same maps, right? Long India one. But uh, you know the problem was the Indian subcontinent. We did not believe in paper drawing maps. We were in narrative. Okay. This is a map constructed, reconstructed from the Mahabharata. Okay, based on descriptions. But the British were pioneers in maps, so we did have some of the best maps by the 18th century. And if you actually look at vintage maps, the best maps are actually that of the Indian subcontinent. Now, of course, we are uh, not doing art. Making maps was an art, <coughs> calligraphy and all that. Now it's all scientific. These are the typical components you see in a modern map anyways. Way back in 1854, there was cholera. And one uh, enterprising uh, doctor decided to plot all the places his patients came from. He was worried, why are all these patients coming from the same place? You see, this is, these are the dots he made. And he located the water and he uh, the water source for these people, there was one tap, one uh, source of water tap, which was closed. Cholera seized up. So that was the first analytical use of maps. This is also a fascinating story. So this person was sitting with another, uh, you know, guy from the government, and he said, um, I think he was sitting with uh, what? Pratt. Yeah. Who, who said, I have to you know, make these maps for all these people? And he said, I have a computer and I think I can make it for you. And he sat, Roger Thomason sat with some of his other friends and they built the first GIS. And of course, since then and now things have changed, but that's a history, a short history of GIS. Here, VGI is 2007, okay? And now VGI is going to take over. Right? Google Earth, 2010, going to take over. Open street maps, uh, they started with people mapping the streets. Government was not doing it. People went on the streets and they uh, made the maps themselves and put it as open data. That started the movement of open data. Okay? This data is available for almost all of the whole world and Mapbox is a tool that works on OpenStreet data. You can uh, download OpenStreet data yourself and use it in uh, QGIS as well. QGIS itself has OpenStreet data interface if you look at it.